The Samsung Galaxy S2 is a pretty cool phone, but using TouchWiz today, it, it kind of sucks. But we can make this phone just a bit better today with a custom ROM. And actually, when I unboxed this thing from eBay to do my review on it in the experience video, it had CyanogenMod Mod already installed, so I know we can do it, but it, how? I bet Google knows. All right, so Samsung Galaxy S2 TGH, uh, I think the model number was 989. All right, let's see what XDA has for us. Hopefully somebody with too much time has ported. Oh yeah, there we go, Lineage OS. I am not responsible for lost data, identity theft, lost money. Ooh, okay, that, that's a great sign going into this. Lineage OS 14.1 is actually Android 7.1, which I think is a good middle of the road, especially considering this phone has one gig of RAM. All right, looks like the files we need are on this link at SourceForge. Let me guess, 404. Four, right oh no okay everything's still here perfect one potential issue i'm seeing is this model number it doesn't match up with the galaxy we have but looking back at xda people have said it works on their phone that matches ours so it's, uh, i'll just give it a try who cares along with that we're also going to need twrp for this model <laughs> last updated 2015 can you tell this is an old phone we're making some good progress but how do we actually put these on the phone itself i guess we gotta flash twrp first let me search up install twrp galaxy s2 you will need to download and install odin on your pc yeah i've already got that because i've done samsung installations a bunch before then we power off the device with a certain key combo and then go into odin mode to flash the new os all right seems simple according to xda we gotta remove the battery for 10 seconds then insert it again hold volume up and volume down plug it into the computer and then keep holding the volume keys until the phone turns on into download mode Ooh, there we go. Okay, that did it. Thank you, XDA. All right, now let's just fire up Odin. Inside of here, it says ID003 added, which I guess that's the Galaxy phone I've plugged into it right now. And from what I remember from past installations of Galaxy phones, we got to check this box right here, hit AP, and then we got to select the specific file for this phone, which is this tar file right here. All right, and then we just hit start and should be it. All right, it passed. Let's take a look. And according to this Google blurb, all we got to do is hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP. Yeah, it didn't seem to work. It's just vibrating now. You know, Android, I appreciate the bop it game you're making me play with the buttons on this phone, but how about I just like tell the phone to reboot into recovery? Okay, and now ADB reboot recovery. Ooh, there we go, and that's actually an old logo. I, I've never seen this before. Usually when I think of TWRP, I think of a black background with blue buttons everywhere, but back in the day, I guess it just used to be gray. Okay, so first thing we gotta do inside here is just nuke TouchWiz, get off my phone. Would you swipe, please? Okay, now we just hit ADB sideload, swipe to start sideload, and the swipe actually worked this time. Okay, so now we push the file to the phone with ADB-D sideload, and then paste this file right here. What? Not a directory. All right, let me just delete the backslash. ADB silo complete failed. What? In order to take full advantage of this ROM, you must flash the recovery by Brian2894 linked in the thread. Oh, I didn't read. In that XDA thread we were looking at a bit earlier, I keep scrolling and I find this one by Brian2894. Yeah, that's the same guy. What is your special recovery, huh? Oh, there we go. Okay. Odin uses tar files for the recovery, so let's just download this file right here. This is from 2016, so please, please still have the file. All right, that's 3.0, maybe 2.8? Ooh, it's taking a while. Is it actually finding one? Yeah, no, of course not. Why would they make it easy? That's no fun. Well, that was my last option. Everything is a zip file, which we can't use at Odin, so time to follow this block of text. Oh boy. Go to wipe, advanced wipe, check internal storage, and then repair change file system. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's stuff missing, and yeah, invalid partition selection. Okay, I, I, are we just screwed here? Maybe we'll have better luck with the Skyrocket model versions of TWRP. Let me guess, these ones are down too, right? Yep, same result. Okay, uh, maybe let's just use an older version? This is so much fun. And, oh, okay, yeah, that seems to have fixed the issue. We have access to all of our partitions now. So what did that say? We have to wipe the internal storage, press on repair change file system, and we got to change it to ext4. And now we got to wipe data, cache, and system. And now we just reboot TWRP once and we should be good to flash the ROM. Okay, now let's push the file to the phone and hopefully that should be it. 
And same error again. Okay, a uh, new idea. So obviously we can't use these two files because the mirrors are down and we can't use zip files inside Odin. So what if we download the zip files and then try to install them from the TWRP version we already have? I thought installing a custom ROM on this phone would be pretty easy because the guy before me already did it, but nah, it's a complete pain in the ass. Oh, by the way, I figured out how to turn this thing into recovery mode. So you hit the lock button and then you press the two buttons on the side. Yeah, this is the TWRP version I'm used to. This looks way more modern. So this specific version should install everything automatically. So let's just hit advanced, ADB sideload, and please be the end of it, please. And just like that, it's installing. Okay, last thing we need is to actually boot into it. So fingers crossed. It says the script has succeeded. So let's reboot and hopefully we see Lineage OS. Hopefully it doesn't just like stay on the black side. Ooh, there we go. Yep, Lineage OS is installed. Okay, so some 30 minutes later, Lineage OS is finally booted. Is it really just that slow or did I just not touch it correctly? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay, this <laughs> the screen just changed. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be changing this in settings when we're done with the setup. Oh, that's pretty cool. The haptics are like really strong on this. And the screen is back to blue again. Okay, that's starting to get a bit annoying. Okay, and that's it for setup. Let's take a look at that home screen. Yeah, before anything else though, I I'm sorry, you gotta stop messing with my display, all right? Aside from the display, have a Material 1 run on this phone. It feels so slick. Definitely a gigantic upgrade from TouchWiz. And the performance isn't actually that bad as well. We went from Android 4 to Android 7, which it's impressive that it's still keeping up. We're working with 850 megs of memory on this device. Now this version of Lineage OS doesn't have any G-apps on it, and honestly it's for the better because this phone would slow down to a crawl with them installed, but we can get an alternative Google Play Store. Oh, I just realized we gotta use a web browser from 2017, this probably isn't gonna work. Yeah, we wanna head to F-Droid. Be, uh, be nice if you can load the rest of the page, please. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, let's just resubmit the web. Hey, we got lucky this time. The part that didn't load didn't hit the download APK button. Now, we have app support for all these things, but the question is, do we even want to install them? I doubt any of them are gonna work. I mean, it hasn't stopped me before. Discord ran terribly on the Note 4, so the Galaxy S2, I, I think it's just gonna explode. I guess I'll give this phone a bit of an easier task with TikTok Lite, though. You get some mercy. Speaking of intensive, I wonder how well YouTube's gonna work in a web browser. Alright, everything I wanted to test is installed, so first up, let's try out Instagram. Yeah, judging by the fact that it's been on the screen for 30 seconds, I'd say I made a mistake. After waiting a bit, though, we do actually get the login screen. <laughs> wonder if it'll work. As expected, Instagram is just extremely slow on this device, but it is working. That That's incredible. If Instagram worked, TikTok Lite on this custom ROM is going to be no problem. Yeah, this actually surprisingly runs worse than Instagram. Please, please just go away. Yeah, you definitely have to be patient if you want to use TikTok on this phone. Swipe up, wait a good five seconds. There we go. Still, pretty surprising how usable this thing is on Android 7. D didn't this phone come out in like 2012? What about Discord though? I mean, if the Note 4 can't do it, I don't think you can. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's not a good sign of performance. I just checked online. This phone came out in 2011 and yes, Discord does still work on it. Just extremely, extremely slowly. Come on, you can do it. Just send one message. That's all I want from you. Just one message. And there you go. With enough patience, you could use Discord on a phone from 2011. Insane. Okay, and now finally, let's test out YouTube and Chrome. Mm, yeah, just like the other apps, you gotta be a bit patient, but it is still working. Keyboard is pretty responsive, too. Come on, I know you can do it. You can play a video on one gig of RAM. Oh yeah, the ad first, of course. After the ad, YouTube seems to be, uh, it, I mean, it's running. It's definitely dropping frames. Uh, what resolution are we at? 240p? You're dropping frames at 240p. Wow. I guess I'm being too harsh because, again, for like the third time, this is a phone from 2011, so it being this usable, it, it's really impressive. So the performance going from TouchWiz to Lineage OS is pretty nice, but what about the settings itself? I mean, this is a custom ROM, right? We, we can customize it. There's a button setting. Oh, cool. Can we, like, rebind the stuff at the bottom? Enable on-screen navbar. Well, that's just a waste of screen real estate. We can also change the timeout for the buttons lighting up, which I really want them to stay on for a long time. We can also program special actions for each button, depending on if you long press or double tap. That's pretty convenient. This custom ROM also supports Android Beam, which I, I wonder if it still works with Android 16 devices. So we hit share on this YouTube page. 
Yeah, nothing on my phone. That's unfortunate. Now, one privacy feature I'm a big fan of on Lineage OS is you can actually lock apps behind a passcode. What, why is this not on stock, Android? And you're never gonna believe when the security patch for this thing was last updated. 2022 for, for Android 7. So that's installing Lineage OS on the Galaxy S2. Honestly, it makes this phone really usable today. It really just goes to show why phone manufacturers should stop locking down bootloaders because like 14 years later, you can make the thing still usable and actually quite snappy at that. And for the more intensive stuff, it'll do it really slowly, but you can use modern social media apps on this as well. Well, thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments, what other phones do you want me to breathe more life into by installing a custom ROM on them? Cause this was way too much fun, you know, even though the start was kind of a pain. Alright, I'll see you later.